Now that we've been through all the administrative stuff that we need to cover, let's get started with a little bit of environment setup. In this section, we're going to do a little bit of setup on our local machines so that we are able to run, build, and compile Go projects. So here's a diagram of the flow that we're going to go through. We'll first start off by installing Go. So this is the actual Go runtime. This is what allows us to build, compile, and execute Go code. After we install the Go runtime, we'll then install a code editor called VS Code. Now, I want to be 100% clear here. VS Code is an optional part of this course. You do not have to use VS Code if you do not want to. So if you are using Atom or Sublime Text or WebStorm already and you're really happy with those, that's totally fine. But I'm going to say that I highly recommend that you try out VS Code. VS Code in practice works very similarly to Sublime Text and Atom. So if you're familiar with either of those editors, you'll be A-OK -okay with VS Code. Now, the reason that I am recommending VS Code is that it has one of the best integrations with Go around. So you can set up other editors to work nicely with Go, but the best integration I have found is with VS Code. So when we use VS Code, it's going to make our lives debugging, writing, formatting, all this kind of stuff around Go. It's just going to make it a lot easier for us. So again, you don't have to use it, but I highly recommend you give it a chance. After we install the Go runtime and VS Code, we'll then get to the fun part, where we actually write some code. And so that will be our first project, and it's really going to be a pretty good sized project that we'll use to get a real survey of a lot of different features inside the Go language. So that's pretty much all we have to do for our environment setup. Without any further ado, let's just dive, excuse me, let's dive right in right now by installing the Go runtime. So I'm going to pull up a link on the screen to get the Golang installer. Here it is right here. I'm going to open up a new browser tab and navigate to golang.org slash dl. Once here, you'll find a couple of different download links towards the top, or really I should say the center of the screen. So find your appropriate operating system and grab the installer. I'm on Mac OS, so I'm going to get the Mac OS installer. Now no matter what operating system you are on, the installer that you download is going to look very similarly to something like this. It's just a classic screen of clicking continue, continue, continue. So on Mac OS, I'm going to open up the installer. I'll click continue. I'll click install. I'm asked to put in my password. No problem. And then it goes off and starts doing the actual installation process. So let's pause right now because this usually takes a minute or two. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back in the next section and we'll also take care of setting up the Visual Studio Code Editor. So I'll see you in just a minute.